Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to learn and understand the three defects of the eye. First is myopia, second is hypermetropia and third one is presbyopia. So let us start with myopia. Myopia is also known as the defect with related to eye and that eye is also known as myopic eye. The other name of myopia is nearsightedness. In this defect, person will be able to see the nearby things clearly, but person will have a problem by seeing the distant object. So that is known as nearsightedness. So person can see nearby object clearly, but can't see distant object clearly. So the name, the second name that is known as nearsightedness is opposite. Person can see nearby things clearly, so it is known as nearsightedness. Let us understand in this defect what will happen. So generally when we are seeing the object, whether they are lying far or near to us, that image will form at retina. Retina is a screen that has enormous amount of light sensitive cell. So that retina is lying here. So all the image will form at retina. Whatever we are seeing the object, that object's image will form at retina. But in a myopic eye, that image will form in front of the retina and not on the retina. So that's why that person will not be able to see the distant image clearly. So when person is seeing the ima image or object which is lying nearby, so at that time that image will form at retina with correct focal length but when the person is seeing the object which is lying at far at that time that image will not form at retina but it will form in front of the retina so that's why that person will not be able to see the things clearly so image of distant object is formed in front of the retina like this here it is forming and not at the retina now why this will happen that this is due to the excessive curvature of the eye lens earlier we have seen that ciliary muscle is responsible for the thickness and thinness of the lens so if the muscles will contract and relax it will give a proper curvature to the lens so if the excessive curvature of eye lens is there then also the eye has a defect called myopia or elongation of eyeball may cause myopia. Now this can be corrected by concave lens. So here we have placed concave lens in front of the eyeball and here we can see that whatever was the defect that image was formed in front of the retina that has been corrected and now the image is forming at the retina. So because we have kept here a suitable concave lens. Now concave lens is whether suitable or not that will be decided by its power. So the power of length will decide that whether this concave lens will correct this myopic eye or not. So here this is a myopia which is also known as nearsightedness. In this defect the image will form in front of the retina and that will be corrected by suitable power of concave lens. hypermetropia and hypermetropic eye. This is also known as farsightedness. Person can see distant object clearly but cannot see nearby object. So its near point has a defect and person will not be able to nearby object but person will be able to see the farther object clearly. So that's why it is also known as farsightedness in which the far point is proper but the near point will not be 25 cm but it will be farther away from 25 cm. So person will have a difficulty to see nearby object or person will have a difficulty in reading when they are keeping at 25 cm far. They have to keep the book away from 25 cm or farther away from 25 cm to read properly. So why this is happening? Because near point will be farther away like this. This is a near point but it will be farther away. So what will happen that because the light rays form a close by object are focused at point behind the retina. So whatever image will form will be behind the retina like this. 
and not on the retina because its near point has been shifted to farther away. So this defect arises due to the focal length will be long or the eyeball became too small. So these two are the possible reasons and because of that into the hypermetropic eye the near point has been shifted to the farther away. This we can correct it with a convex lens. When we are using a suitable power of convex lens then we can shift that near point to actually a 25 cm and person will be able to read and properly and see the nearby object clearly. So we can do correction with convex lens and it will give additional focusing power so that person will be able to see the nearby things. So here figure 1 we can see into that that near point has been shifted to farther away. Then in hypermetropic eye actually what is happening that the image will not form at retina but it will form behind the retina. And what are the possible causes? So that this defect has arise because focal length has become long or focal length has been increased or eyeball become too small. Because of this two reason the near point has been shifted to far away. Now correction we can do it with convex lens and with the suitable power of convex lens we can correct this defect. Third eye defect is known as presbyopia. So power of accommodation of eye usually decrease with the aging and this will happens because of the gradual weakening of ciliary muscles. We know that ciliary muscles will adjust the focal length of the crystalline lens and in turn our lens will be able to see the nearby object and and distant object. So this ability will be gradually decreasing along with the aging because those muscles will be weakening and they will not have proper ability to, to contract or to relax and that's why this defect will arise. So near point gradually recedes away. They find it difficult to see nearby objects comfortably and distinctly without corrective eyeglasses and that is known as presbyopia. So presbyopia is a defect which happens because of the weakening of the ciliary muscle and in this person will have a both the type of defects that person will not be able to see the far object also and person will not be able to see the near object also. What we have seen in hypermetropia and myopic eye that their near point will shift and their farther point will shift because of their respective defects. But here due to the weakening of ciliary muscle they will not be able to see both of the objects which are lying nearby and farther away because ciliary muscles are weakening and thus they are not been able to properly contract and relax. So this defect is known as presbyopia. Now due to gradual weakening of ciliary muscles and diminishing flexibility of the eye lens. Now this kind of defects will be corrected by combining both the lenses. And this progressive lenses are the combination of concave and convex lens. So person will be able to see the far and near objects clearly. So we can remember all the three defects like this, that myopia is there, it is known as nearsightedness. What will happen in that, that person will not be able to see the far object. And what are the reasons behind that, that image formed in front of the retina. And these are the defects because of this person will not be able to see the far object. That first is excessive curvature of eye lens, second is elongation of eyeball. Now second is hypermetropia that is also known as farsightedness. What will happen in that? That person will not be able to see the nearby object. Now what are the causes or what are the possible reasons to arise this defect is image formed behind the retina. Because focal length has become too long or the eyeball has become too small. These are the possible reasons and because of this, this defect has arise. The last one is presbyopia. It comes with the aging when the ciliary muscles will lose its ability to contract and relax. 
so those muscles will be weak and because of that the lens will not change its focal length effectively so because of that reason person will not be able to see both the objects which are far and nearby so person will not be able to see the far and nearby object now how can we bring the correction to this defects for myopia we are using concave lens for hypermetropia we are using convex lens and for press myopia this defect is combination of both so we are using concave and convex lens this is also known as progressive lens so hope this video has cleared your doubt in coming segment we are going to discuss many more important concepts so don't forget to subscribe learn yourself i'll see you in next video till then keep learning keep sharing